Now, still on the news. As economies of the world continue to grapple with the biting effects of COVID-19, the government needs to be deliberate with provision of infrastructure to grow the real sectors. It has also become imperative for non-essential business owners to digitize if they want their ventures to subsist even after the pandemic. Chartered accountant and head of Adrug Business School, Dr. Deji Awubotu. They dropped this in in an exclusive interview with Galaxy TV's Justin Akadoyim. Dr. Awubutu, while noting that incomes accruable to government through taxation will further deplete during this dispensation, made a strong case for diversification. Most people will tap into it. Ah, well, the government, government is not saying me. They don't see it as an obligation or a right to ensure that they do what is right. right? If you're making so much as income, it builds on you to pay taxes in line with the law. You can't say you want to market your product to um, a client and they're asking you to come do a presentation. You say, I don't know how to pre do a presentation. That means that, that will increase your cost because you have to get someone else to do that presentation on your behalf. So all these skills are extremely important for you to ensure you um, own yourself with. And once that is done, then you can easily assess the internet to ensure that um, you get um, some training materials to equip you skills-wise. Now, the, I, I run training for government sector also, and I can tell you that um, lot, some civil servants don't feel comfortable using the computer system. They rather prefer to go the manual way. Making comparison of the nation's economy since return to democracy, the professional business educator says Nigeria can still learn from the tenacious approach of the military era. To understand that... Um, Nigeria is a going concern. Regardless of um, the administration or the party that is in power, um, they should see it as a continuum. All right? And a situation where you now have a, um, a new administration or a new party coming into power and jettisoning all the projects that or major of the projects that have been um, embarked upon by the previous administration, uh, is going to take Nigerians back. So we need our leaders to be responsible to be responsible. And once they are responsible, then they will ensure that they need to provide good education. They need to provide infrastructure. They need to provide health services. They need to provide a whole lot of resources that will aid the continuous movement of the country. Now, away from that, Justice Shegun Lagunju has fixed July 1st, 2020,